Okay, what I was going to show you is this little tool. This is the Kerf Maker. They make two versions of this. This is the larger one. This is the Kerf Maker 2. And its total design is to make half laps or uh, dados or recesses or whatever by incorporating the width of the blade and you do it all without measuring. It's just it's a, it's just a simple gimmick to not a gimmick tool, but it's if if you do a lot of dados or if you do a, if you're if you're doing plywood and you've set up half inch dado joint or something and you're using plywood, that's going to be too big. So you would have to jump down to a quarter inch blade. There's a, there's a bucket over there with a foam top on top if you want it. I have to have it. And uh, there's some chairs outside if you want to bring one in. Um, how you set this up, I've already set it. The directions weren't all that great. Usually from Bridge City, they're better than that. But. You take, I have a quarter inch blade set up in there right now. You take your, take your wood and saw it. Then I took it over the bandsaw, cut this piece off. Now you set this piece back in here. That is your exact kerf of your blade. And they say that's better than measuring the blade because you may have a little run out. And you take, I have to remember, I've just, I just bought this about four or five weeks ago and I haven't played with it a lot. You set this up by setting this on top, setting this down, Locking your orange. That's your kerf. Now, you loosen this up and you set the, the width of what you're cutting. I set this width right here. That's a little loose. I got to do better than that. I mean that orange piece over there. That red piece. Thank you. The mailbox flag. Well, they send you uh, on the on the KM. On the, on, the, on the one version, the, the other one is a smaller, and the capacities are small. I bought this one because the capacity was, you could go like a two before if you wanted to do half laps. So, with this one, they give you this. This sometimes sort of gets in the way. But what you do is you set this up, you saw it here,
matches up to that without any visible line anywhere. We'll measure it. Okay, Huh? You can use a pencil. pencil. That's the whole idea. This is fast and very accurate. Wow. The other little trick is the other little trick is the half, the half gauge. Now this is really just a toy, but what this is is you measure here. You got to really be lazy. This thing goes up and down. You lay it on top of the wood, lock it down, and this is half. Exactly half. That's how you set your own time. Whoa. There you go. I got it. That don't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> that don't sound right. <laughs> For anything, that's going to be half. half. That's half. So that's the pointer's half. You measure it here, and you point here. So you can see right. pieces, so you right. Right. pieces can come together and be plugged. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I've seen more than that. Now, that's, right. that's the basic printer. Yeah, I'm going to move this. Yeah. That's <laughs> What you can also do, this will work for anything that has a uh, a curve, a router bit. You can use a router table. Uh, imagine using, you're wanting to cut a plywood groove and you have a router table. You could simply set this up, you measure your curve, you set your width of your board, and you move your fence over, do the same thing right here. You can put this over here, and I can do the same thing right here. Clamp this, and I can move my thing over, turn it this way, back my fence up and bump it. So you can do it that way too. You just get your little stop block or hold it here or you can get a stop block and put here. But it's, they make two of these, like I said, they make two of them. They make, I think these people invented it and there are 50 duplicates of it on Amazon and everywhere else. <laughs> Uh, for half the price. You know, Bridge City's got some expensive stuff. But you set your, once you set your curve, and you have to use a sacrificial block, that's simple. Run it through there and then stand it up and run it through again. You get your cutoff, and you can actually keep your blocks, mark your blocks and keep them. And, uh, but it, it's a neat tool. I've been playing with it for about a week after I decided to do demos. Can you loosen these passes here to where it moves? Yeah. You set your curve with the orange one. First of all, you have to close it. That's not in the instructions. <laughs> That's not in the instructions. I screwed up a bunch of these little sticks of wood. You have to close this and lock it. Then you set your, your blade curve. Here. This is your blade curve. Okay. So once you lock your orange, then you can loosen this one and set your. See, that'll go all the way up to. That is. Yeah, 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 you can go to a two before, I think. Looks like yeah, that's least, least. Yeah. So, and then this has a magnet on each end, so. The, the smaller version is about this big, and it'll only go up to like one inch stock or something. Well, they get that thing. Yeah. well, I bought it on sale, and I think it was a hundred bucks or something. Yeah. 
accurate as that is. That's not bad. But, 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 but you see, I didn't, I didn't pick a tape up or anything. No, that, that looks like so those, those, that's a perfect joint. Yeah. You know, that just fits in there perfect. It's perfect for you. Three scans. Do one there. Down calipers is perfect. Right. Yeah. 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 But you think Look about it, that. if you were to draw it out on a piece of wood, you draw a dado out on a piece of wood, how many times you got to peer over the top of your blade trying to get that son of a bitch just right? This takes nothing. You can, like I say, you can do it on your table saw, or, or you could even do it here, because this is going to be a difference. This would be more likely in this position. So this this long leg stays against here. These are your two different. This is what offsets for your blade. Mm -hmm. So it's so when it's in one position, it's me measuring on the other side of the blade. When it's in this position, it's measuring on this side of the blade. Cool. And the difference in between. So it's it's a I've been uh, like I say, I've been playing with it for a week and it's I found several uses for it. Uh, if you were running a plywood group, if I had a dado blade in here and wanted to run a groove in the, in the top of a shelf so you could set a piece of plywood up in it, you could, you could use your regular blade. You wouldn't even have to change your blade because you could just run one side, run the other side, and eat the metal out of it. Mm -hmm. Plywood's in there perfectly. Right. I've been doing mine on the CNC. Well, well. <laughs> That's cheap. Some people have other toys. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I'm a real craftsman. I don't use a CNC. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do woodworking anymore. I just run a CNC. I use hand planers I made myself. You made your own plan? Taking the, the art of trying to rent it in and manipulate it. Can't create it. Can't create it. That's what I mean. Like it's a three inch half round. Blue and a sand. Yeah, it's got the arm. Yeah. And I had to make some tips. I actually did it. And I would take a half inch and a half. So I could kind of see it. And I worked it. First, I had to have a half inch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I had a quarter 